There may come the rare occasion where you've tried to print something, probably most often text, and there's something a little screwy or fishy or something's not quite right about it. Like there might be a little jagged edge or the text might just not look clear or it might actually be like a little discombobulated like that. This could be a necessity for a print head alignment, all right? It's very rare, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, well, the print head alignment could be the handiest little skill you've got in your toolbox. So let me show you how it's done. So here's the document that I want to print out. So I'm going to go to File, Print, and then I'm going to click on the Properties button. Here I'm going to select the Maintenance tab. Now here we've got this crazy kind of like discombobulated letter A for the icon for Print Head Alignment, and I'm going to click on that. Here it's telling me it's going to improve the quality of my printouts, just what I was looking for. All right. If you can tell that the situation that you're dealing with is a vertical misalignment, well then this is the screen that you're going to want to start printing and testing from. Uh, they'll give you a test pattern. You'll have several options that you'll choose from a drop-down menu to select the very best option. Um, if you can tell that it's actually a horizontal, You'll want to skip this and move right to horizontal. If you're not sure, probably run both tests just to be on the safe side. All right, so you've printed out your test patterns, but uh, what do these things mean? All right, the one with a lot of little boxes all over the page, this is your vertical test pattern, all right? The object here is to find the number that corresponds with the box that is most solid, meaning you can't really tell that there are the different little lines in there. When it comes to the blue boxes that run down the middle of your printed page, this is for the horizontal test pattern. All right? The object here is to select the one where the line in between the two boxes or rectangles is the least noticeable meaning uh, it's not as dark as the other options. And again, you might always be able to tell, but pick the one that is the very faintest, the one where you can't really tell. And that is all there is to it. Hit finish, and you're off and running again. Epson, exceed your vision.